Hey guys, Harv here, and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program, Career Mode! This is the series in which, well, Hot Gaming plays Career Mode, as is probably evident from the title. Let's resume our saved game. When we left off in the previous episode, we had landed on Minmus, the smallest moon of Kerbin. The second, out of two. There we go, this is our save. And we have a few problems, a few things that I'm worried about. To begin with, though, first thing, yes. I understand now that the science of goo canisters, whatever you do with them, is contained within the actual canister. If you don't recover the canister, you don't recover the science. Thank you for telling me, all oh, 300 million of you. And the problem is this. Oh no, it's okay now, okay. At the end of the previous episode, we were running out of electricity like no man's business. It was just draining and draining and draining. I'm not quite sure why. Anyway, let's quickly have a look at these. Goo Jiggles and Wobbles, we've got 7 value from that. Keeping that. A review. We've got 50 from that. And this one hasn't been used, so we're going to use this one again. We're going to use this one and do it here as well. So that's another 50. Great. Let's get Jebediah coming out. Land him, or just... Oh wow, the gravity on Minimus is so low! I always forget about that. <laughs> oh, can he do it? Can he do it? Ah, I was hoping he's gonna land on his feet then. Yeah, I haven't been on Minmus for a very long time. It's always fun. This is one of my favourite moons. There's the moon up there. Look at it. And there's Kerbin as well. Man, that's an amazing shot. Hey, look at that. Anyway, back to the game. We want to uh, first of all plant a flag, of course. Here we go. I claim this. For the United Kingdom! Yay! Uh, site name. Minmus Landing. We had we had baby steps on the VAB. Small steps on the moon. Uh, squat steps? No. Squat steps. <laughs> slightly longer than small steps. What's slightly longer than small steps? Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Matt Lees. <laughs> I love Matt Lees. Matt Lees are just brilliant. Video gamer TV. They are so, so unrecognised, but they're amazing. Having said that, they have billions of views on, on, their, on their main big series, so I shouldn't really say that. Uh, we're going to call this... Yeah, why not? We're going to call this Squat Steps. Uh, we've reached... Uh, we've reached the extent of the Kerbin system. Time to move on. Nice. Time to go outside the Kerbin system. Let us take a surface sample here. The surface seems to consist of tiny crystal, like grains. Very pretty. Probably not editable. Editable. Probably not editable. Definitely not edible. But, you know, we might be able to change its config file. Let's keep that. EVA report. You feel a bit like a superhero when you jump in low gravity. Absolutely. Worth 40 scientific value. The effects of low gravity on the ego. Okay, let's get back in and let's go home. I think we've done all the science we can do. We can really store here. Grab. Board. Stored all of that. And now a crew report from here. Worth 25 scientific value. We can transmit that, but we can't afford the energy, so we're not going to. And that's about it. Now, we want to get this right. We want to use as little electricity as possible, because I'm not sure... I'm not entirely sure of our chances without doing so. So I think what I want to do is, is time warp until we are pointing on the opposite side, so about here. Opposite to the rotation. Or opposite to the uh, orbit around. There we go. So along this direction which we are very nearly. There! Okay, now if we burn straight up, that should use the least electricity possible. Time to test the theory. Goodbye, Minmus! Not using any electricity whatsoever. No SES and no steering. Let's bring in our landing gear. There we go, we can get away with this. Awesome. Right. Burning, burning, burning. And exited. And bring that down. 
Oh, I shouldn't have worried. Ah, I'm worried. I'm very worried now. Small steps and squat steps. Oh, we never did baby steps. I think our quick load a few episodes ago, or last episode, sorted that out. Damn, uh, we're round... Oh, we'll be able to do a crew report. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's just... Burn a bit more. It's a risk. We look at, we're going into the unknown. Oh dear. We've got to keep burning. Burn as much as possible. And still be within the moon orbit. That's the trade-off. There we go. We're going to have about... Four, uh, wait, no. Two minutes. We're going to have two minutes in moon orbit, guys. This is what's going to happen. Okay, swap back to our ship. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Where is the ship? Sun. Rock is logical. There we go. Okay. As we leave behind Minmus. Can we do more crew reports or can we only store one? I forget. I forget whether you can do multiple. Hang on, let's try this out. Crew report again. Overwrite existing. No, our existing is way more valuable than anything we'll get here. Okay. So we might as well not have done the moon trajectory. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Leave the sphere of influence in 3, 2, 1. And now we should be able to see our trajectory. It brings us down. It certainly brings us down. Perhaps this is not within Kerbin atmosphere, though. So we're going to burn our first electricity trying to point back upwards. Or along the orbital... Oh no, retrograde. Once we're in retrograde. Ooh, 15 electrical charge. Here we go. Okay. Now we're not passing moon orbit. And we're bringing this down. Optimally 20 kilometers. 40... 20. There we go. Burning. Nice and gently. We've got the treasure trove of science. But what we need to do is land this. Intact. We can't afford to destroy these canisters, so... We're going to have to make sure that that doesn't happen. Okay. So bringing it down. Down from Minmus. Narrowly missed the moon. Hello, small steps. And it looks like we're going to land on water, which isn't ideal. I was hoping to plant a flag. Um, I think you can restock them. Oh, no, I'm not sure if you can restock them from the command module, actually. Ha. Huh. Oh, well. Oh, and also landing this ship in the sea. Tenuous. Very tenuous. If that's the right word, which it isn't. Ooh, okay, we're going to have to hope they survive. Pray and hope, because Kerbin's oceans are not forgiving. Here's the fireball stage. Four times acceleration, tearing through the atmosphere as we go. Nothing below us but the big blue ocean. And the moon setting over the horizon with the sun, bound to be following it very soon. Quite a nice sight, certainly. Okay. So, what we probably want to do... 11 kilometers up. Oh, hello. I don't want to be in this camera view. Okay, so we'll open up our parachute without opening our decoupler. Like this. Like this. There we go. Excellent. Okay, now hopefully that's not going to... Uh, yank us off of the rest of the ship. So to make sure it doesn't, I'm going to start burning before we hit 500, which is when this will open. So we can afford to time warp now, because we're over the sea, so we know exactly what our altitude is from here. Uh, okay, one kilometer. We've got loads of fuel, so I'm going to start burning now. 600 meters, full throttle, 500, parachute opens. Okay, 20 meters per second, 19, 18.6, under the only, under only resistance provided by the parachute. At 100 meters, we're going to start burning and hopefully bring it down to 1, to at least less than or equal to 1 when we hit the water. Okay, burning now. 12, 11, 10, 9, burn a bit more, 8, 7, 6, 5... And everything is intact. Excellent. Jebediah Kerman has survived his escapade. <laughs> Brilliant. Perfect. Let's take a screenshot. 
Ta da! Excellent. Okay. Let's recover our vessel and see what progress. See how much science this will have rewarded us. Surely it will be loads. 331.7! <laughs> 25 science from crew reports from Minma Surface. Surface sample from Minma Surface, 150 science. EVA reports, 40 science. Mystery Goo observation, 7. Barely even needed that. We probably should have deleted that and, and done another Minmus one. We would have got about 350. Mystery Goo from Inmus, Mystery Goo from Minmus. That one was worth less because we already had one. And recovery of a vessel, 37. Wow. That was fantastic. Let's go into our research and development center. We have so much money. Do you know what we need? Power. Absolutely power. Research. Power generation. We have photovoltaic panels. That's the way to go. Ladders, thermometers, micro landers, and small gear bows. Nope, we want this. Research 90. Okay, so now that, that's power. We've got solar panels. We're fine. Absolutely fine. Now we could go into the plane version and we could do some trips to the North Pole, which would be quite a nice change of pace, I think. You know what? Let's do that. Uh, what would be the alternative? Bigger parts and fuel lines. Fuel lines are really important. If we have any left over, we'll get that. But otherwise, yeah, planes. Okay, so that's 90. That's advanced planes. Which would be nice to have, delta wings, but we don't need them, necessarily. Okay, so we don't need it. Uh, landing gear, we are going to need. There we go, get that. Okay, so we have 90 science left. And fuel lines would be ideal. Perfect. So, quite an even spread. We haven't... In KSP, the thing I've noticed about the, the tech tree... I don't know if this will change, but mainly you can't specify, you can't tech into just one area. You're going to need a requirement of, of all-round things. Perhaps not the wings. Perhaps you can do without wings and stability. Once you've got vectoring engines and electricity. But still, to get these parts, you have to go through electricity, which, yeah, okay, that's fine. But I suspect there's going to be something over here which you'll need supersonic flight for. And this one. But that, prison, pr that precision engineering looks good. But we have nowhere near enough to buy it now. One science. That was a very profitable trip. Absolutely. And that's where we shall end this episode. Thank you very much for watching this particular episode of Career Mode. If you did like the video, then please do like the video. And coming up to Christmas, if you would like some hot gaming merch, you can get that in the link, or via a link in the description. Thanks again for watching, and I shall see you all next time.